Hello there, Mr. Sutton here bringing you the IM3 Honors 77 Extra Practice Number 2 Solutions on Sine and Cosine Curves. For this problem, we want to find the amplitude and period of this function and then sketch the graph. So the amplitude is the coefficient of the trig function, so this 4 right here. And for the period, that's going to be 2 pi divided by whatever this b value is here, so 2 pi over 3. Now to graph all of this out, uh, we need to split this up into four pieces, starting at the origin, and then we also need to go up and down whatever the amplitude is. So I can go up and down from my midline if I uh, make this a four right here, make these grid lines go by fours, then I'll be going up or down one for every step I take to the right. And then for the period, we've split this up into four pieces. Um, so I'm just going to stick 2 pi over 3 at the end right here. And uh, now, whatever my scale is, I mean, people can figure it out because I've, I've, I've labeled one of my grid lines. So we'll assume that these all go by the same amount now. Since this is cosine, we're starting at the top of the wave. So back here on the y-axis, we start at the 4. And then we take one step to the right and one step down. Step to the right and step down. Now we're at the bottom of the wave at negative 4. That's as far down as we can go. Now we just keep bouncing uh, further and further up until we get to the top again. So up 1 and then override and up 1 again. And now we're going to draw a cosine curve going through this. Make sure you don't draw V. And there we are. For my first step on this problem, I'm going to go ahead and uh, name the amplitude and period of this function. So for the amplitude, we just have this one half out in front of the uh, trig function. For the period, we have to do 2 pi divided by whatever's being multiplied by the x inside the function. Uh, so in this case, that's 2 pi divided by a 1 half, because divided by 2 means times 1 half. And then same change flip, I'm really doing 2 pi times 2 over 1, so 4 pi. All right, to graph this out, I want to go up and down by the amplitude and over a quarter period every time. Uh, so to achieve that on the graph, I'm going to make this grid line right here be a 1 half. So now I'm going up and down by that for every step I take to the right. For uh, satisfying this period here, I need to have uh, four equal length grid lines, and I need to end at 4 pi. Um, so I'll just put the 4 pi over here. And now every step I take to the right, I'm going a quarter period. So because this is cosine, I start at the top of the wave, which in this case is at the 1 half. And we'll just keep going down until we hit the bottom of the wave, and then we'll come back up. So we do right here, and then over we take a step down, step to the right, a step down, step to the right, a step up now, because we were at the bottom of the wave down there. And we keep going up until we hit the top of the wave again right about there. All right, let's go ahead and graph that curve. So we're going like so, and then changing inflection, and then going like this. Just make sure you're not graphing a V. And there we are. For this one, let me give the uh, amplitude and period of the function and then graph it. For amplitude, this 2 out in front of the trig function gives us that. So our graph is going up and down by 2 from the center. Uh, now for the period, we have to do 2 pi divided by this b value in here being multiplied by the x. Uh, so 2 pi divided by 2 gives us a period of pi. So go into my graph now. To go up and down by the amplitude, uh, I'm just going to make this first grid line here be a 2. Now I take one step up or down for every step I take to the right. And uh, to make sure that I'm going a quarter period each time, because I've got four phases for the wave, I'm going to make this fourth hash mark here be exactly equal to my period of pi. Uh, so now every step is a quarter period by, by definition. Now, since I'm doing sine, I have to start in the middle of the wave on the way up. Um, so middle of the wave is going to be the x-axis here. So that's right here on the origin. And then we're going to take one step up and to the right. Since we're at the top of the wave, we come back down and go down again. Now we're at the bottom of the wave, so we come back up. And that's a whole period, so we're just going to graph that sine curve right there. For this one, the amplitude is going to be this 2 that's out in front of the trig function. So that's the first thing we'll write down. They also want the period. That's 2 pi divided by this b value here. So 2 pi over 3. 
And then to graph this out, I want to go up and down by the amplitude, and I want to take a quarter period step to the right every time I go up or down by that amplitude. So to make this happen, I'm going to make my amplitude whatever this grid line is here. So now I'm going to be going up and down by one grid line every step I take to the right. And to make sure every step I take to the right is a quarter of the period, I'm going to put 2 pi over 3 on the fourth grid line right here. All right, so we've got sine. That's uh, a function that starts in the middle and then goes up. So that's going to be right here. We start on the y-axis at the midline. And then we're taking one step up. And then we hit the top of the wave here, so one step down. And another step down until we get to the bottom of the wave right here. And then we bounce back up. And connect the, cot the, the, the dots to uh, draw a sine curve. For this one, I want the amplitude and period and the graph. For the amplitude, I've got the coefficient of my trig function, this 3 right here. And then for the period, I need to do 2 pi divided by this b value of 4. And I can reduce that to pi over 2. So my graph is going up and down by 3 for every quarter period I take. And my period, my, my, the length of one cycle, is pi over 2. So to graph all of this out, I'm going to make my first grid line here be a 3, so now I can just go up and down one grid line to go up and down what the amplitude is. And since I'm taking a quarter period step to the right every time I go up or down by that amplitude, uh, I'm going to make pi over 2 my fourth grid line right here. And so now every step I take, I just go up or down by 3. Since this is sine, I have to start in the middle of the wave, which is on the x-axis, and then we are on the way up. So we've got a dot right here, and then I take one step to the right, a quarter period step, and up three. We're at the top of the wave, so now we go down and to the right, uh, down again until we get to the bottom of the wave here, and then we bounce back up. And we do our sine curve. On this one, I want amplitude, period, and a graph for this cosine function. For the amplitude, I'm just going to take the coefficient of the trig function, 3. And then for the period, I need to do 2 pi divided by the b value. Uh, that's what x is being multiplied by here. Since we're dividing by 4, that means we're really multiplying by 1 fourth. So 2 pi over 1 fourth, same change flip. I'm doing 2 pi times 4 to give me 8 pi. To graph all this out, I'll make 3 my first grid line on the y-axis here, so I can go up and down by that with just one grid line now. And I have to take a quarter period step to the right every time I go up and down by this amplitude. Um, so I'm just going to make this fourth hash mark here be 8 pi. That way, every hash mark is a quarter period step. So now we have to start, since it's cosine, at the top of the wave right here. And then we take one step right and one step down right and down, and now we are at the bottom of the cosine wave, so we have to bounce back up and keep going till we get to the top of the wave again. Uh, and then we just connect those dots to make the cosine curve. For this one, let me uh, start by getting the amplitude of this graph. So that's this 3 coefficient here out in front of the trig function. For the period, I have to do 2 pi divided by my b value of 2. Uh, so 2 pi over 2 gives me pi for the period. And to graph all this, I want to go up and down by the amplitude. So let me make this grid line worth 3. And then I want to take one. Uh, for every time I go up or down by the amplitude, I have to take a quarter period step to the right. So to make sure I take four of those steps by the time I reach pi, I'm going to make pi my fourth hash mark here. And then every one of these hash marks is a quarter of that. All right, since we've got sine, we have to start in the middle and take one step up for our first step every time it's sine. Then since we're at the top of the wave, we go down one, and then down one again. Now we're at the bottom of the wave. Now we bounce back up. We've got five dots. We can draw our sine curve through those, and we just need one period of this, so we're finished. On this problem, I'm trying to get the amplitude and period on a graph for this cosine curve. The amplitude is going to be this one-half coefficient out in front of the trig function. For the period, I've got 2 pi divided by this b value of 3. And then to graph that, I'm going to put my amplitude 1 half as my first grid line here on the y-axis. 
That way now I'm going to be going up and down by the amplitude for every step I take to the right here. Now for every step I take, these need to be a quarter period steps so that we hit each phase of our wave. Um, so to make sure that they're a quarter of my period of 2 pi over 3, I'm just going to make the fourth one of these 2 pi over 3. Uh, that way, by definition, since these are equal length intervals here, uh, every one of these will be a quarter of that, whatever that comes out to. All right, so we're starting at the top uh, because this is a cosine curve. We always start at the top with cosine, positive cosine. And then we're going to take one step down as we take one step to the right and another step down. We are now at the bottom of the cosine curve, so we bounce back up and keep going till we hit the top again. And then draw the curve.